We conclude tonight's presser with uh, head coach Jim Alton, Jason Glad. Congratulations on the win, Jim. Uh, is that just sort of a textbook Islanders sort of win? You, you bend, you don't break, and you show your resiliency, giving up a goal late in the third period, but bouncing back and, and winning it in overtime? Yeah, I'm not sure it was trademark. I'm not sure that's how we would have drawn it up, but there's no style points. Uh, we're in the semifinals. I thought it was the whole game. It was a great hockey game. If you're a fan, it was a little bit hard on the uh, blood pressure and gray hair your coach. But you know what? I thought both teams battled extremely hard. I mean, this team comes at you quick, they're fast. Um, I thought you could gradually see us adjust as that first period went on. You know, we were much better on the fresh ice in the second. And we kill off the five on three. You hope you can close the deal. But again, they're a good team. It's just two heavyweights going at it. They come back with a well executed uh, six on five goal. And, and then uh, we got ourselves time to regroup and four comes out of power play and capitalized. It seemed like you guys took a, I don't know if the penalties in the, in the first 10 minutes seemed to take your guys out of uh, being able to set the tone that you, you didn't look like you were playing that to your identity. You know, is that just the penalty sort of taking you away from, from that game? Well, it's a combination. You got to remember this is our fourth game of the month. Uh, the schedule hasn't been real favorable uh, to no one's fault, uh, but it's a fact. And you know, one of the worries we had, I guess, behind closed doors and coaches' offices is how quickly can we get back up to speed against a really good team? Use the baseball analogy. We've been swinging 70 mile pitches all year. You got to adjust that bat speed now because it's not 70 coming at us. So, the combination of a quicker team coming off with a lot of momentum behind them after a terrific game five, the Blaineville series, and then two bad penalties in the first 10 minutes, and all of a sudden their engine's rolling and we're reeling. So, I thought we did a real admirable job of kind of steadying the ship during the second half of, of the first. And even though we're down by goal, at least we got ourselves calmed down. How important is it for you guys to to come out ready early tomorrow? Because you know, I just used the, the what we saw from Bathurst in Game Two after they lost a, a Game One in the opener. You know, you, I assume we're going to see probably the best effort from from a Victoriaville tomorrow night. Yeah, I think that's the safe assumption. Uh, but I think we're going to be a hell of a lot better. I think we've got our legs under us now. So uh, one thing I never worry about with this club, and I'm sure Carl's the same with his, it's, it's never going to be a lack of effort at this time of year. It's not. It's all about uh, execution. Can you get the bounces? I mean, these kids are pouring their heart and soul into everything. Uh, even the mistakes are makes the mistakes that are made of the act for the team. So uh, it all comes down. Both teams are going to commit hard. Of course they are. I mean, we, we know what's at stake for us. They know what's at stake for them. So no, no worries there that both teams are going to commit uh, incredible efforts tomorrow. Hey Jim, did you? Uh... Did you see what you expect? What you expect from the other team tonight? Since you haven't played a game against them this year, you watched some videos, and uh, was it the same that you expect? Or yeah, you know what? It was everything we expected. Um, we watched them a couple times here in the bubble, and obviously with the uh, advantage of video nowadays, we've seen a lot of their games. And, and we know there's a lot of high end, high octane offense on that team, but they're also a team that competes really hard. Um, I think Carl's done a really, really good job. I think they're. A really well structured team and one of the better teams to neutral zone that I've watched on tapes that they make life hard for you. And I, I thought it was two teams that have kind of a similar value system. I think that's the result of uh normal goals. It's tougher for you guys to uh, adapt because you had to you had to come over to play those games in Quebec. Uh, referees from Quebec, they're the rank that you're not used to play in. And is it you would you say it's tougher a little bit for your team? No, I think we're excited to be in the semifinals, and I think we'd be willing to play it on Mars if they had a rank there. Really, you know, <laughs> the way as bizarre as this year has been, you know, I think their wrapping has been terrific when we came here. Our accommodations, it's a world class facility. As a player, as a coach, you can't be excited to be in this setting. And something's pretty off with you. So we're trying to enjoy the moment. And that was the message in the room of overtime: is let's play to win. Go have some fun. Enjoy this moment. This is an incredible spot to be in. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you.